So today we're going to go over the basics of InDesign, how to place frames, what frames are, and why we use them to, um, to place images into our design. So we're going to hit Create New, and we're going to give it the settings that you have on your screen right now. Go ahead and go to Inches, and make sure it's 8.5 by 11 and you have three pages, and facing pages is checked. And then when you've done that, just go ahead and hit create. You should have something like this. Now, since most of you are doing a spread, if you scroll down, there will be a set of two pages. Those will be the ones that you want to design on. So, if you want to create a bunch of pictures that are the same size, you're going to want to use frames instead of placing the images directly into your onto your page. So frames are the box with the little the box xed out. So I'm going to make one. I'm going to hold down shift to make a square. And you'll see this this box with the cross in it, it'll, it'll appear. Now, if I hover over and hold down Alt, that double-edged arrow appears, and I can duplicate it. And if I, hold, if I hold down Alt and Shift, it'll duplicate it right the same, or on the same axis. Something like that. Now, that's a little bit too long, so before I proceed, I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to hold down shift again and I'm going to put them smaller to within the margins. These little purple frames are the margins. There we go. And now I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to hold down alt and shift again and I'm going to keep spacing them out. Like for all the students pages we did something like this where we spaced them out. And you see those little green lines that appear? Those are like your smart guides. They help you space things out appropriately. There we go. And now I'm going to select all of the frames that are on that page. I'm going to hold down Alt and then Shift. And then I'm going to put them on that page too. And so now you have two pages of all the frames being the exact, frame, exact same size. So now to fill a frame with any image, you just click on the frame and then hit control D and your little file browser will come up and you just go and you find your picture and then when you double click on it it will appear inside your frame. Now if it's way too big or way too small you just um, keep it clicked and if you go up here to um, uh, fill frame proportionally it'll shrink down and fill the frame. And that's it. One note, the way InDesign works is you have the frames and then you have the actual image inside the frame. So right now I'm clicked on the frame. If I double click on it, I click on the image, you see that uh, kind of brownish box? So that's the image. So I can move that around inside the frame when the little hand appears and doesn't move the frame at all. You see the frame still there, it's the blue one. But it's just the image that moves. Um, on the other hand though, if I click on the frame, but don't double click or click in the center, I'll move the frame with the image. There we go. That's the basics. I hope this helps.